Good evening, I'm Cheryl Mercedes. Tonight, court documents are revealing new details about the murder of a Pasadena mother of four. Now, this comes as 38-year-old Myra Gutierrez was laid to rest. Her ex-boyfriend, Daniel Chacon, is facing a capital murder charge. Anayeli Ruiz joins us from outside of the Harris County Jail. She's been reviewing these documents today. Anayeli, what did you find? According to court documents, Daniel Chacon told his uncle he was, quote, going to have to kill that girl. And the following day, Mayra Gutierrez was found dead in her abandoned SUV. In the six-page capital murder charging document for 30-year-old Daniel Chacon, investigators revealed new details into the death of 38-year-old Mayra Gutierrez. The documents state that back on October 3rd, Gutierrez was visiting their five-month-old daughter at his apartment. But Gutierrez left after Chacon called his current girlfriend asking Gutierrez to leave. Investigators say that's when the two witnesses saw Chacon kidnap Gutierrez. Witnesses observed a female being forced into the back seat of a uh, SUV at gunpoint. Shortly after, the documents state that Chacon used Gutierrez's cell phone to call her ex-husband through Snapchat. The ex-husband said Chacon was driving the car and he panned the camera to show Gutierrez seated in the car. Chacon said, what's up, and cursed at him. The ex-husband tried to call Gutierrez back, but says he was unsuccessful. 40 minutes later, Chacon was seen on surveillance video walking to a jack-in-the-box where he used their phone to call his girlfriend. Uh, the defendant's girlfriend stated that he called her a few minutes before police arrived and asked her if the police had come by and said that he was sorry for everything and hung up. Investigators also state Chacon went to his uncle's house, the same uncle he had previously told he was going to kill this girl. Stated that he had effed up, uh, asked for a new shirt, asked to use the phone before leaving on foot. His uncle then called police, but it was too late. Investigators say Maida was found dead in the front seat of her SUV. She was shot once in the head. Investigators believe the bullet casing found in her car was from the gun that was missing from Chacon's apartment. Chacon's bond has been set at a million dollars. A motion has been filed by the district attorney's office requesting to deny bond for the capital murder charge. Anageli Ruiz. KHOU 11 News. A lot of people watching this case. Thank you so much, Anayeli. If you or someone you know is in a domestic violence situation or being abused, there are several resources here in the Houston area. You can reach out to any of these organizations you see right there on your screen. That's Dia Houston, the Houston Area Women's Center, and Family Time Crisis Center. Their services are free and confidential. We also have links to all of these organizations on KHOU.com. Calm.